Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about how we could query the database. Now we've already queried the database by calling all the documents within a collection using the find method. But now I want to be more specific. I want to be able to search for certain documents within the collection as opposed to returning all of them from a collection. So the data that we're going to be querying is going to be from my previous tutorial where we inserted dummy data using the insert many method. So if you do not have this file, this JSON file, and you haven't inserted this into your collection, please do so if you want to follow along. And I will have links within the description for you guys to do that. So now let's get started. I'm just going to type Mongo, get the show going, show DBs. Use school, show collections, db.students.find.pretty. So I have the following database. And what I want to do is I have these questions here that I want to end up solving. So I don't want to find every document within the students collection. I want to find all the students named Pedro. So how would I go about doing that? Well, I could just say db.students.find. And instead of leaving this blank, we could pass an object within here. And this object is a query object. So now I could specify what properties of the documents that I want to be returned to me. So for instance, we have a property called first name. So I'm just going to say first name. And we're going to pass it the value of Pedro. And if I hit enter, you can see that it returns the documents of students whose first name is Pedro. It doesn't return all the documents within the student's collection. So we have two students with the name Pedro. And let's say that we want to narrow this down even further. We don't want two Pedros. So let's say we want to find only students named Pedro and however you pronounce that name. So let's go down here and we could pass in another property. So I could say last name and I'm not sure how to spell that. So L-E-A-T-E, L-E-A-T-E. -E. And if I hit enter, you can see that we get one document because there's only one student with the name Pedro and this name. So now let's move on to the second question. I want to find all students who are female in our grade 10. So how would I go about doing that? Well, you can see that this student has a property of gender and has a value of female. So let's, that's a good place to start. So let's get rid of this and we're going to start building our query for finding all the females that are in grade 10. And we're just going to say gender female. And then the second argument is that the female has to be in grade 10. So we have a property called grade. So we just pass in grade. And we just say we want it to be grade 10. Hit enter. And you can see that we have a bunch of students who happen to be female and are also in grade 10. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's say, for example, I want a female who's in grade 10, but I only want one of them. I don't care how many of them are there. Well, we could use a method. Instead of saying find, we could say find one. And we have to get rid of this pretty method because the pretty method must be called on a cursor. And a cursor is just a pointer to the result set of a query. The find one method is not a cursor, which is why it will not work. The find one method just returns a document. And if I hit enter, what the find one method does is return one document, the first document that matches your criteria. So it went into the collection and found one female who happened to be in grade 10 and then returned it. And then in the upcoming tutorials, we're going to start working with MongoDB operators. And what these operators allow us to do is to better 
query our database. 